Content or by everything. Religion, religion does do some harm, um, some good. So what's, what's the good you see religion do? Um, it helps people through death. It helps people through bereavement. Placebo in my in my view, but it helps them through death. So what's the negative uh, aspects of religion? It divides us. It doesn't bring us together. It, it divides us and adds to the fact that we fight each other and argue against each other. Would you think that people do that without religion anyway? Yeah. But it adds to it. It adds to it and it encourages it. So what is your overall solution for that challenge? Uh, banning religion is never going to happen, is it? I think I think education, education, education. But if you had your way, would you ban? If you were in charge, would you ban? Oh no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't completely ban religion. I might ban some practices, public practices of religion, halal slaughter, which actually is illegal, except for we made an exception in the law, and kosher slaughter, just to be completely fair. What, what, what is it about that that we disagree with? Well, because the people that know more than you and I about these things, and the government, decided that we should have laws around animal slaughter that do not allow unstunned slaughter. So that's, that was the decision that the experts and the politicians decided on, but a long trot to religion saying, oh, that doesn't fit with our religious practice, can we still do our religious practice? So we said, okay, we'll forget all those principles that led to us create this law, we'll make exceptions for you two little groups just based on your religion. That's wrong. That whole concept of making different laws for different groups of people, in my view, is absolutely wrong. You have to have one law for all. What about the American vegans would support that as well? I imagine, I mean, obviously they don't want any animals I was going to say, and that's... <laughs> but would vegans come out, come out and say it? I'm not sure. I've never heard a vegan I think, I talk about against halal slaughter. Well, here, I think they probably would. Maybe they would, maybe that's you, another... Are you a vegan? Um, I'm going to say, I'm not a vegan. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, why are you vegan? No, 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 I just... I just... Well, because no, when you mention like, killing the animals, that's what I'm saying. So many people have different perspectives depending on your arts, right? So I'm, I'm interested in it. Britain is a tolerant co country, and I think we are too Depends tolerant. Depends who you are, isn't it? But the fact is, we are, compared relatively to most other places around the world, don't yeah. you think? Well, it depends. So, for example, um, until you live in the skin of a, a different kind of group, whether it's homosexuals, women, black, the same yeah, we're not perfect. Well, but, but what I'm saying is, it's their testimonies that you want to get, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, how do you identify as what? As a British, white, Christian, atheist? Not atheist. Atheist guy, right? So that comes with a certain reality, right? But, but if, if the discussion around is Britain, as far as countries go around the world, reasonably tolerant, of course it's not perfect, and of course there's still discrimination and bad stuff, but as far as countries around the world go, we are reasonably tolerant. And is that how you judge things? Do you judge it like, because there's countries that are worse, then it's okay? Well, is tolerance good? Is respecting someone because of their colour or because of their sexuality, is that good? Well, I think it is good. Well, how, how is that respect achieved? How does that work? How is that respect achieved? Does that make sense? By giving them equality of opportunity, by giving them rights, by by legislating against discrimination, by legislating against harm to them because of whatever the characteristic is. And is, and is there places where that is the case? You see where that well, is where, where the Equality Act is a raft of, of legislation that covers a raft of protected character, characteristics. Gender, sexuality, religious belief, ethnicity, disability, so, marital status, so I remember so all the others. So we have a raft of legislation. Now, of course, everything is still not perfect, but we have a raft of legislation to legislate what? against discrimination. When you say something is imperfect, why? What is happening to make it non-perfect? Individuals. All right, so people in power, right? All individuals. Well, because you're talking about in the enforcement of laws, right? So uh -huh. if, if you say you, you're, that it's against law to discriminate, uh, discriminate against someone based on their sex, their sex uh -huh. if that goes on, that means uh, it's still going on. So well, the individuals that are doing it are the culprits, aren't they? Right. So how is that? How is that? How is that? How is that possible? How, how we in a, in a nation well, of you can't reach perfection. Right. So, are you content with where we are? Have we? Have I what? Would, would you say you're content with the fact no, that we the law? No, I would never be content. We could always be better. And how do we achieve that? By education. 
and how would you enforce that indication? Enforce it? Well, 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 in terms of children, the majority of children go through state education, so it's completely within our control. Because like I said, my interest is like, I agree with you that, you know, you have laws that says not to do this, not to do that. But when it happens, and it happens at quite a consistent level, I'm, I'm wondering, how does, that, how does that happen? Well, I'll give you an example. Anti-Semitic attacks have increased significantly in recent times. I think homophobic attacks, there's been quite an increase as well. And I'll tell you why that is. Muslims. The reason that every synagogue in this country has to have security on the door is because of Islam. But no, but that's a, people wouldn't say that because that's not PC. But that is the reality. The, the fact that men are attacked on the streets of Whitechapel for walking along hand in hand with their boyfriend is Muslim. Well, let's but no one, one will call that out. Well, let's talk one by one. Because we have significantly less tolerant people living amongst us. So, so with the Jewish, the Jewish attack, so you're saying that is uh, historically a, a Muslim issue? I'm saying, no, I'm saying the current increase in anti-Semitic attacks in Britain and the fact that every synagogue in Britain now has to have security on the door is because of Islam. Well, I didn't know I'm not talking about 50 years ago. Right. Because I'm just drive past one. Drive past one on a Saturday and you'll see all the security on the door. And, saying, and I know people that, that, that so attend. So what, 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 if that is true, what is true? Because Muslims who don't like Jews. Because Anti-Semitic Muslims. Because the and the far left, because the, we know the far left is pretty anti-Semitic so, as well. So the far left is anti-Semitic. Was it, so historically, was it the far right that was anti-Semitic? Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. So is, yes. this, is everyone that hates Jews, is that what it is? No, not everyone. We're talking about what far left and far right hardly covers everyone, well, does it? it was, and Muslims. And the Muslims. The third group. Right, so That's not everyone, big, is it? That doesn't include you and that doesn't well, include no, me. No, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. You have the zone, right? So, but you're, see, that's the thing is, I don't have the information. I don't, I don't have the, the statutory. Just go to Golders Green or, or, or mosques all over London. There's 60 mosques, and uh, not mosques, synagogues. And, and have, they, have they said why they feel they're being attacked? Have they said why? Have they, so if this is true... Because of the attacks. They're not, they're not doing it, they'd be a waste of money, wouldn't they? No, what I'm saying is, if, if the Jewish community are complaining that our synagogues are being attacked by music, radical Muslim extremists, are they saying, what is it that... that no, who know, are they radical extreme? I don't know. I don't, well, know. Well, I don't know that detail. Okay, let's just say this Muslim community, right? Have they, have they tried to identify why they're being attacked? Have they tried to identify... Because you know what? That's like, saying, that's, trying to, that's like saying, they try to identify why some Muslim people hate Jewish people. That's the question that's that you're That's a good asking. question to answer. And that goes back centuries, doesn't well, it? Well, yeah, but then there's been times when Muslims have lived uh, with uh, yeah, Jews yeah, yeah, peacefully. Yeah. So what is it that's happening now in the climate where the attacks because, are... Because the polarisation is increasing, the hate is increasing. The hate is increasing. So what is happening to boost the hate? Radicalisation. Well, that's what, for example, if we live, we live, you're Jewish, I'm Muslim. I'm not Jewish. Right? No, you're, you're I'm saying. Right? We live together, there's no issue. And next thing you know, I'm throwing bricks at your, at your house. What is happening for me to throw bricks at your house? For me, that's Your brain has been infected with hate from somewhere. With right. someone. So what is happening to allow that hate to be to preach? What, what I'm trying to get is like, for example, we understand that the media play a part in education, right? Yeah. right? And, and the education could be correct or incorrect. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, do these, do these factors play in to why you get increased or maybe attacked? I, I find it hard to imagine that the media have any role in the fact that there might be increasing Muslim attacks on the Jews. I don't think the media Here's what is, are going to be accountable do, do, you ever, do you ever see like where things are magnified on the media? The mosques, I would say. The mosques. Surely, surely the imam should be the, the pious intellectual experts that, that teach their flock to behave properly. So I haven't, are they? I, don't know. I haven't seen, that's the thing, so you have the information, I don't have. And I'll give you one example where they were, so it was the imam of the Finsbury Park mosque that pulled them all off the guy that they want, the guy that mowed drove his car through, the imam of that mosque pulled his congregation away and told them to leave the man for the police because they probably wanted to kill him. That's so that's a good example of an imam doing something good. That's an interesting question. So if someone did actually try to run you over, yeah. do you think it's a good thing that you don't actually try to kill him? Is that yeah, yeah. yeah really? I, I don't believe in that sort of retribution. No. In, in the time, in the time. What do you mean the time? So it's so we're here now and someone's driving a, a van trying to kill you. Do you think that they'll be worthy of death? If this man w w just drove, drove a car through us, yeah. no, I do not think we should all then go and try and pull him out of the cab and kill him. 
You don't? You think that we should? No, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Right. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, sir. Did you used to be the keyboard player in Pet Shop? <laughs> Did you? Fucking saw your dress sense out. Nothing wrong with a bit of Pet Shop, boys. I was only listening to some yesterday. Do you remember Go West? That was my favourite. Do not, sir. Do not waste your time. I've known him for ten years and never had a sensible sentence out of him. Yeah? He's only here because his mother wants him out of the house on a Sunday so she can have one day off. Oh, that's the difference. I find him very interesting. We disagree. So does he, really. We disagree on Brexit. We're, we're boyfriends, really. But we're, uh, I listen to him. I listen to you, even though I'm a lead remainder and you're a leader. You should cover that. that no, no, the policeman's given me permission to it. What about a child who reads that? Reads that? Uh, well, I don't care. He Mummy, what well, man's there's bollocks well, on his teeth? What does that mean? what it means. My mother won't know what it meant anyway. And anyway, he said it's not going to happen. The copper said Brexit's not going to happen. Oh, really? He was standing next to Eric, who's a hardened believer. There's like chaos. What is, does the media play a part? Right? So if the media is just rally, saying I've been walking, right? The the and they frame it as black guy can say something wrong. Right? Somebody then the next the black guy can say something wrong. And then the black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. And then the next black guy can say something wrong. Well, I don't know. Um, there's been a bit of that thing going on all my lifetime. Bust in. A lot of buses coming in. From Yahoo Melody! Yeah! Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. The majority of the army. The majority of lawyers. The majority, the majority, not absolute, the majority, the majority of judges, and in fact all business, the, all, all parts of the democracy are actual parts, dominated by the private school and Oxbridge people. And they, in those schools, get taught about division. In those schools, they get taught about how the one way of thought is the only correct way of thought. I've been right.